What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Mr. Mechanical Zombie back with some more Dark Souls 3. We are exactly where I left off, right back at the dilapidated, I think it's called the dilapidated bridge, but I'm not sure. But that is, or no, actually, this is the under, something we're under, I don't even know what, what the actual location's called, but I know that last time we beat a boss, and it was difficult, but not impossible. Um, but for a sorcerer, it was one of those bosses that's just going to be really hard to deal with, or difficult to deal with. I don't want to say hard, because it, it wasn't, like, you know, so hard where it made me, like, it made me frustrated towards the end, but it didn't make me as frustrated as I thought it was going to make me, so. So that's always good. Let's go ahead and use magic weapon here and try to kill this guy real quick. We need to die, sir. And then we need to go this way, because there should be a dog... And then a sewer, and then a shortcut. This should lead to a shortcut, if I remember correctly. So we should be able to kill these guys in one hit. These guys, okay, so the rats don't actually poison you in this game. That is one good thing. One very good thing. We have the, uh, uh, the Caestus. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure. It's the, like, fist items of the game. If we come up here slowly, we might be able to attract the small ones without attracting the big one. We attracted one of the small ones. Let's, uh, can we aim at them from here? Oops, 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 oops. Um, we want to... I wonder if we shoot this guy, will it alert the other one? Yes, it will. That's not good. I was trying to... Okay, he's dead. Blood bite ring. I was trying to roll out of the way there, but I kind of hit it late. The blood bite ring. What does the blood bite ring do? Blood bite ring increases bleed resistance. One of the bite rings native to Kareem increases bleed resistance. The crafting of these rings is forbidden, perhaps owing to a fear and malleable stone, of malleable stone. Clerics, however, dabble freely in the art. Alright, so if we go this way... What does this say? Oh, it's just the guy that died. Okay, so he, he looks like he got stun-locked right in that little area right there. That must suck. Luckily, we did not suffer the same fate. But we unlocked this shortcut, and then there is a bonfire that we already visited right there. So, this is a shortcut way. And this gate right here not right there this one right here is the one that you will open with the key that you can buy from the girl in firelink shrine but for now i don't think we have enough souls to go back and buy it so we're just gonna push forward here and see what happens oh this guy actually dropped something charcoal pine resin we can't actually aim at this guy which is an issue oh he's gonna throw this at us yep i knew that Remember, they're weak to magic, so... Oh, if we can... If we can get our heavy soul arrow off on him. We might be able to go into this area and, like, he might not be able to hit us from there. We'll see, though. He might be able to sneak by. Can he come in here? Alright, so we're in a bit of a pickle. Okay, he hit me through the wall. Because, you know, that happens. I'm trying to think about how to deal with this right now. <laughs> uh, the other one's running back, it seems. Maybe we can do this and use an Ashen Estus Flask. Here, you might be able to kill him like this. Okay, so we got him. If he'll let me target. Okay, cool. One more hit. And then auto. He's dead. Okay, cool. So we killed him. A little bit slower than I would have liked, but hey, we did it. That's all that matters, really. 
Uh, we can use another Ash and Estes Flask here. I'm trying to think, is this guy guarding something? He's got to be guarding something if he's just over here randomly, right? Let's uh, let's just kill him. I knew he was gonna throw that at us. Just hit him like that. Let's see, let's see if he drops anything. Nope, of course not. Not like there's anything that he could have dropped that was actually worth it, but we got a large soul of a deserted corpse and some of these doggies. Be wary of ambush. Head ahead. Oh, we ran out of magic weapon just as soon as I was about to hit him. So that kind of sucks. But for now, let's just continue this way and see what we encounter. There's an NPC right here. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here. In this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, really. You know, this guy actually reminds me of like those dragon guys from uh, Dark Souls 2. Remember in. What's it called? I can't remember where, where the elder dragon is that you have to. That you don't have. Or the ancient dragon. That you don't have to fight, but you can fight as like an, uh, an optional boss. You know all those dragon guys on the way up to him? This is what this guy reminds me of, or what he, yeah, what he reminds me of. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Drapes right past the abandoned church. <laughs> Hopeless. The whole lot of you. Like little moths flittering towards a flame. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If like the others, you can go. <laughs> okay, so that's all he's got to say, pretty much. We can't go this way. It does not open from this side. But there is another NPC, it looks like, right there. Through the cracks. Can't actually get to her, but... Or him, or whatever it is, but... We'll see. I think we're supposed to go this way. Now, I'm thinking to myself right now, I wonder what would happen if we went back to that old, the boss area, and you know how the, the floor crumbled? I wonder if there's anything left there. Oh my god. Look at this dude. What's up, homie? Hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. This brings back a lot mm. of memories. Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh... Or does it? Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. 
Hmm. All right, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I actually do know a little bit about this area. So I actually know what to do here and where to go. Well, sort of where to go. I've only watched or seen a little bit past this area. Maybe not even past this area. Like this area is the farthest I've seen. So hopefully... This lift only go with... Okay, mm. so that's all he's got to say for now. But if we go across here, that's going to go down. But this one's going to come down too, which means we can actually use this elevator to go up. And we want to go up because we want to talk to a certain somebody that might have been firing arrows at us before. If you didn't notice that, there's also a little ledge right there. So after we're done talking to this certain somebody, maybe we can go to that edge. Or to that ledge, I should say. But for now, let's come up here. Huh? It's a saint. And we'll talk to this homie. What's up, giant? Who are you? Make peace. I help any time. Young white branch. I help. So pretty much, we make peace. He's not going to shoot any arrows at us anymore. And if we stand near that white tree, if you can see it out in the distance, he will shoot all the enemies around us. So, pretty much he's not going to cause us any harm anymore, thankfully. And uh, we don't have to worry about him. And he's got these gigantic bow and all these huge-ass arrows next to him. It would be nice if we could pick up, but <laughs> I don't think that's possible. But for now, since he's not going to be hitting anybody anymore, we can go down and jump onto this ledge. I can't remember what side it is on. I think it's on this side. Mm -hmm. See, we also heard um, Sigward. I keep wanting to say Sigmeyer because that's what the guy from Dark Souls 1's name is. That wears the Katarina outfit. But we can talk to him here. Mm. 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 Uh, oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. Downright but thanks worried. to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> well, that's nice there, Sigurd. What's going on? On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? Yeah, it looks like a Taurus demon. I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but... That thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try... No, I've got to use... I could... Alright, well, I'll, I'll give you a hint there, Sigurd. We're gonna fight this bastard. With your help? Or not. Let's see how this turns out. I've actually never fought this thing. I've seen it get get fought by other people, but I've never fought it myself. So this will be a learning experience. And I'm sure it's pissed off already. No! You should have waited. Well, it's too late now. I sit word of the Knights of I'm pretty much just gonna try to dodge it and let Seaward do everything. No, do not knock me off the side, please. Please, mate, please. I'm just trying to come over here and heal. Sigurd is taking damage while I can just hit him with the heavy soul arrows. He actually takes a lot of damage, this thing does. I did not think we would deal that much damage. Okay, he's just got... Oh, God. I, I kind of dodged early there. Please do not hit me. Is he dead? Hey! <laughs> we killed it! Fire gem. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Thank you, Sigward, for your help. I might have called him Siegmeier one time during that fight. I don't know. <sighs> 
That was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. Sieg Brow. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun Hold shine. Hold on a sec, I'm trying to switch it. <laughs> Toast. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> Let's drink to this, Sigurd. Anyways. So we did it. We fought that gigantic demon fire lizard thingy and got a fire gem. With Secret's help, of course. And now we can come over here and get some of the items that we can pick up now, since we did that. I'm gonna get rid of this sword, though. We are out of Estus, just about. Let's go ahead and get back up to Magic Weapon, okay. Now let's head this way. Secret's just gonna sleep there, I'm pretty sure, and not do anything else. But us, on the other hand, we have places to go and people to see. And But I actually don't know where we're supposed to go. That, that's the farthest I've ever seen the game, is up to that. So, is up to that demon thingy. It looks like a Taurus demon. I'm not sure if it was a Taurus demon, but it looked like one, so... There's that. We got a large club, which is one of my favorite weapons in Dark Souls 2. I was a big strength guy in Dark Souls 2 after, uh, of course, after the the original Sorcerer playthrough. I played a few playthroughs on stream, and one of them was of that. Wait, hold on. Was that like a, that was like a weird side path, but we don't need to go that way. Let's see what Seagward's up to here. Are you just going to sleep here? Yeah, you're just going to sleep. Oh, oh, wow. We got another gesture. Okay. Yeah, he's just sleeping. Um, let's go around here and see if there's like some type of secret path or something. Nope. Doesn't look like we can go that way either. Alright then, the only way it looks like we can go is this way. I'm trying to look at these little things because I know that one would that one's gonna drop on our head if we go over there. That's a trap. You can already tell that it's a trap, I'm pretty sure. Let's uh, let's try to fire a soul arrow at it. Okay, that's not a trap. Red bug, red bug pellet. Okay, it looked like a trap, but it wasn't. Surprisingly enough. Let's uh. I'm kind of scared of this area. Honestly, it looks. One of these has got to be a trap. That one. That one's a trap. Because I think it's moving. Yeah, I can see it moving, I think. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do soul arrow. I want to do regular soul arrow just to make sure before... Yep, that was a trap. Alright, can you please hit the damn thing? There we go. There we go. And then this one's a trap, too. You can tell me it's a different, it's kind of a different color. And then if you look very closely, that you can actually see them moving. So we got past that. That looked like, I thought that was an item right here, but I guess not. Hmm, this one's alive. And that one's not alive, I don't think. Oh, we got dogs. Dang it. Alright, so we did that. <clears throat> now, I don't know where to go. Okay, this is not a... Mm, I'm gonna hit it anyways, just in case. I don't think it's a mimic. Usually... Oh, shit! But, oh, God. Okay. Well... That was a trap.
One heavy sword arrow kills him. Okay. But uh, I was going to say, before I got uh, trampled and, and ambushed, um, that you can usually tell what a mimic is because the mimics... Uh, the chain will go the other way. Instead of going like around that way, it will go the complete opposite. So that's usually how you can tell which one's a mimic and which ones aren't. And I'm pretty sure there. I've already seen a mimic in this game, and it's like past the dragon earlier in the game. Oh God. Uh, we're out of mana. So. Since we're out of mana, I'm going to use a charcoal pine resin and just try to go ham on these guys. It's a grab attack. I can't believe she didn't hit me. Oh god. Okay, we got her. Whew. The only reason I use a charcoal is so I could have an excuse of not, <laughs> of like being sorcery-ish, I guess. I don't know, because we ran out of magic, so. But we somehow just got another Ash, Ash and Estes. I don't know how that happened. But uh, it did, which is strange enough. Some of you are probably going to be like, he had an Ash and Estes, but I really didn't. I don't know. What makes you regain Estus over time, but I know that you can. Maybe it's the amount of people that you kill, or souls, or something like that. I have no idea. But I've noticed that after a while, you can regain some Estus. But what is this item here? Flynn's Ring. Flynn's Ring. Let's see. Um, Flynn's Ring. What do you do? Lowering Equip Load Increases Attack. Flynn fought with the wind at his side and a hero and was a hero among the weak and poor, yet even his admirers knew that he was little more than an ide idyllic fable. Okay, well my only question here is does that is that just physical attack? So if we, we have if we equip this Does that just do physical attack? How do I show switch? I think it only does physical attack, but I'm not sure. We'll equip it though, just because. I mean, honestly, the we don't really need the blue tier stone ring because it's it's pretty poopy, anyways. But uh, yeah. So now we can jump over here. I don't know what's over here. It looks to be a drop. I don't really want to drop down there. Let's see if there's another path down. What is this? Homeward Bone. It looks like the only way down is a drop, and that does not look good. I don't really want to oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can jump across. Or fail trying to jump across. Shit! I always end up doing something stupid like that. <laughs> I tried to jump, but I don't know. I didn't. It didn't let me. I have my jump button on um, circle, by the way, on PS4 because I don't like the analog stick jumping. So, if you're wondering why why I rolled instead of jumping, that's why. Though it can do mistakes like that and make you roll when you're trying to jump. I still I'm so used to playing like uh, the original Dark Souls. That it's just like accustomed to me. But I think we're going to end it here for now. Uh, we will go back and try to to get that item or whatever that we missed. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We made a little bit of progress today. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.